You know, one of the neat things about traveling America and uh, checking out classic automobiles is uh, the great uh, Midwest. You know, there's a great cruise auction up uh, just outside of Auburn, Indiana, and that's kind of a legendary place, a special place for you. Hi, Ron Stone. Yes, hello there, definitely. Sarasota, Florida is where you call home. You got some ties to the Charlotte area, and, and I'm walking around, and I don't see a lot of Cords or Dusenbergs or, or Auburns around this neck of the woods. No, you will not. In this particular car that you're looking at, they only made uh, 60 plus, I think, two. They say between 60 and 64 of the four seaters. This is a four seater, and it's what they call a 37 812 Sport Phaeton. Ted, do you, obviously you know a little bit about the history. I mean, you're passionate about the vehicle, but what a great story, all those great cars that came out of that little town in Indiana. Correct, and uh, Auburn, Duesenberg, and Cord made a name for themselves in the short time that they were in existence, and today are well sought after cars, and of course the Duesenbergs bring millions of dollars in the roadsters and touring cars. So. Uh, Nobody sees them, and uh, I've never understood why so many disappeared uh, after the after the war. But uh, they have, and uh, there you go. This car, uh, to be what it is, and to only be one of a uh, 60. They either said 60 or 64, I think. Uh, these four seaters were ever built. And this particular car uh, is, is has the look. It has the coffin nose the hood on it. The 37 Cord uh, Sport Phaeton has hand cranks for the headlights. Each headlight has a hand crank and you crank them out. And you have to be careful that you don't crank them too far. And when you're ready to put them up, you put them back that way. You have a pocket here, a deep pocket, where you keep uh, anything you want. You also have the uh, airplane instrument uh, controls right here in the middle of the panel. You have the fan instruments on the panel and you have a uh, radio, you have your cigarette lighter, and uh, as I said, each side has it. Over here is a, is a plate. It says the car has been driven 110.8 miles per hour before it was delivered. And uh, that was a thing that they uh, like to push on it. Um, it's very fast, very comfortable, and uh, a rather large car. It's a little bit bigger than you would normally expect in a convertible. Uh, the car has a disappearing top, like the Lexus today. Uh, you can pull the top forward, flip the latch, the back part will raise up, and the top will disappear into the trunk of the car, and you close it down, and it's completely clear, uh, just like a Lexus today. Uh, in 37, they had that feature, and I think that's a real interesting thing about Accord. Uh, way ahead of its time, this car is called the Coffin Nose Convertible, and uh, as I said before, they uh, built 60 of these, maybe 64, but only in the four seat. The two seat, I think they built over a thousand. And uh, not many survived, I don't know why, but it's a great car, has no running boards, teardrop fenders on it, and uh, absolutely uh, is an attention getter and, and a great car. How often do you get this car out? Well, it's a favorite car of mine. I have several other cars, but this is my favorite, and I can get in it, and I can cruise down here to it, and I go to any show I want to with it. And it's a crowd pleaser, I have to tell you. It definitely caught my eye, and I'm glad you brought it. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. I've never been to this show. And it's, you know, it's fun, and I understand there were about 2,200 cars in here yesterday, and I don't know how many cars are here today, but um, this is the only thing like it in here. Ron Stone, a pleasure meeting you. It's like I've known you my whole life. Thank you very much. I'm Southern born and raised, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff, and like I said, this is one of my favorite uh, automobiles out here at the show. I'm Banana Jack for Tiger TV.